Hi, I'm Doug, one of the engineers at Clean Energy, the next generation of heating systems. In this video, we're going to look at a few main points in installing the furnace. Remember, have your owner's manual handy and give us a call at 888-519-2347 if you have any questions. We support our furnaces directly and we're here to help if you need it. So let's get started. First, install the blower on the back of the furnace in the position shown here with the bulge of the blower sticking in the upright position. Insert the blower through the angle mounted on the back of the furnace and use the provided number 10 self-tapping screws to securely mount the, the blower to the back of the furnace. Then install the flex conduit into the back junction box and follow the wire diagram shown here on the inside lid of the junction box. Also install the guards, one on each side of the blower with the provided screws. For mounting the furnace, you have several options, but the main one used utilizes all thread rod that goes through the knockouts on both the top and the bottom in the four corners of the furnace. Be sure to double knot the bottom to securely hold the weight of the furnace in position. Refer to the owner's manual for the proper clearances when installing your furnace. For the chimney, you have a class A double wall or a single wall material. The single wall stack material can be used in any interior, for any interior stack. When fastening the single wall material to the furnace, it's likely you will need to pre-drill because the breech is a stainless steel material. Whenever you penetrate your, your building, or any exterior stack, you'll need to use double wall class A material. And be sure to have a qualified electrician connect power to the front junction box of the furnace. So there you have it. Remember, if you have any questions, please consult your owner's manual or give us a call at 888-519-2347. We support our furnaces directly and we're here to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.